guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Foreign Food Friday. Thanks for tuning in. We love doing these videos. These are fun. Uh, <clears throat> this has ex is exposed us to so many different new abnormal foreign countries and foods. Like, right. this is Things awesome. Things we would never try otherwise. So what country are we in now, Jamie? Do you know? Mm, no. I bet Maddie knows. Maddie. Korea! No. We're in America. <laughs> Trick question. <laughs> So recently, we were in the Sacramento, specifically Rancho Cordova area, for those of you that are in that area, we found the best international market I think I've ever been in. Um, oh. And now I can't think of its name. KP International K Market. KP International Market, Rancho Cordova. Awesome store. This all oh, came from yeah. there. It has three stores in it. Yes, there's multiple stores like in it. It's like three stores. Most every it's one of those stores you shouldn't go in when you're hungry. Okay, so the point is, Everything's labeled by country. And so we were able to walk through the store and we said, you know what, let's go to Korea. And so we just picked a bunch of stuff on the that were labeled appropriately for Korea. Right. So here we are. So let's get eating, shall we? And I did try to find some things that were like iconic Korean items. And I just picked what looked good and yeah. slightly funky. So Jamie wants to open the banana. Wait, 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 wait. I dyed my hair. Well, ma'am dyed your hair, but you picked the color. Jamie got a haircut too. Jamie's got a little mohawk going I'm a little bit bald. And look, he kept his tail. No, I didn't. He was going to cut it off. He wanted to get rid of this. We were able to talk him out we of it. We were like, no, 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 no. All right. No, no. Okay, so Jamie. Ready. Make sure you hit the like button there early, guys, if you're into these kind of videos. You're off camera. Bell you're, off, you're off camera. Okay. These are banana kick, banana snacks with artificial flavor. There's a banana. Banana. I did not pick this one out because I would never pick something that said banana. They're like cheese puffs. They're oh, gonna banana. be like the baby food. Remember those little baby puffs that are banana flavored? I flavor? still love to eat those. Oh, oh they're huge. Legit, I yes, love to they eat are, those. and they are banana e. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Smell like banana. What are you doing? Oh, they smell like fake banana. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Ooh, I Over, like it. Overly ripe, barfy banana. At the mm. end, it tastes like popcorn. You get the corn, the, the puff, go. the snack itself. Those are delicious. Those are so good. They got a cute package. Yep. Mm -hmm. Those are gross. All right, banana Unless you snacks, like bananas. Bananas. And you're crazy for not liking them. Okay. The texture of them is actually really good. Mm -hmm. You like cheese mm -hmm. Let's go with this one. This is Pushu Pushu Bulgogi flavored noodle snack. So it's like ramen, like a package what of ramen. Bulgogi? bulgogi is a type of marinade for beef or pork or chicken. We're going to do a recipe with it soon. So you're supposed to smash that. Look at the directions on the back, John. Pay attention. No directions. On the back. Don't boil it, crunch it. How to enjoy. Step one, smash noodles. Ah. Done. <laughs> Step two, sprinkle spices. Where's the spices? It's inside. But what if I smash them too? No, they're just in a packet. You open so it. What happens when you follow directions? All right, so let's get these open. Kind of got them open all They're very difficult. All right, so just like ramen. Huh. That's, yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I saw that. Shoot you. Uh, 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 right in the face. In the face. Right so the this li literally looks like top ramen. The, the noodles in there. How's it smell? What are you doing? Oh, wow. It smells strong. It is. is it a dry spice? Yes. Yeah. It. 100% is like making top ramen. That's so the weird. Noodles. Well, it's how about it's like 98% because you're missing the water. That's what I meant. All right. Do the noodles have something to make that powder stick? I smell like I, the directions didn't say that, so if it ain't right, it's not my <laughs> fault. Here, you want to try that big one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't actually okay. see like anything else. Whoa! Whoa! Is it good? It smells good. Oh, that smells so good. Just like ramen. You're off camera and nobody can see you. Oh, Ooh, it does smell good. Mmm. There's a small kick to it. I get more smell of the seasoning than actual taste. I don't like this. How much? Gimme, gimme, gimme. It would be better if the flavoring was already on it. Yeah. I don't like it a tiny bit. 
for me. Like better not. to stick on. Right. Off camera. If you go past that corner, they can't see you. You're off. All right. I'm gonna pick something. Okay. I'm half off. Camera. I'm picking these slims. So They're a potato chip. Later. And I don't think these were any specific flavor. Oh, they're cute little packaging. Oh, one one. Pack. Okay. Jamie, oh so we only need to open four for one pack because there's four in there. What is it with these packaging? Oh my goodness. Probably you because you probably don't know how to open well, them. These are weird. Wow. Oh, they're like perfectly round. Okay, there's one or two. There's them. two. There's two. It's like poker chips. Mmm. They're so soft and smooth. Ooh. What? You're off camera. Like Why pepper. does it taste like pumpkin? I don't know. What are these? These are weird. Is that a po sweet potato, maybe? Maybe it is sweet potato. These are gross. I like them. They're different. I think that. Water. Yeah, mm. those are not good. They're interesting. I like them. They're though. odd. I wasn't expecting that flavor, mm -mm. and I don't like that it's there. I just want water just in this. It tastes it's somewhere good. between a cracker and a potato chip. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they must be sweet potato. Those are different. All right. Okay, let's do these. I want to do these. Soon. These are Calbee brand, which we've had several different Calbee brand chips. Um, these are really good. This is, I think the word for them is teppanyaki. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, a street food. Uh, that's at least a Japanese word for it. I don't know. I, I want to say that they were called the same. Okay. So these are mimicking octopus bowls. All right, so, so like octopus balls, like street. Like spheres. Like street food, like in the batter, in the little molds, and they cook them, yeah, and they flip them. Yeah, there's a little mold. I already it. don't like it. It's hecka fishy. Sorry, Dad. Oh, no. I don't need it. So, basically cheese puffs. You know what that looks like on there, man? Let's It's got a little spice and like a sweetness to it. Wait, I don't get it fishiness. Good? It's good. I like them. Oh, I don't think like fish. I don't uh, think so. Not to me at all. And you know I don't like fish at all. Oh. Oh. All I taste is the sauce. It's like a sweet savory. Did that get you in the eye? Did the bag get you in the eye? No. Nobody can see you, baby. You're on the edge off of the camera table. again, dude. Oh. Come on. You need uh -huh. to stay on camera. Here, try one. No. Yeah. I'm not getting fish in this at all, mm. either. I don't mind those. Wait. When I clean this one, I'm going to like, yes, mm -hmm. not like it at all. So those are good. Come on, sit down, dude. We can't even see you again. All right, why don't we open the other flavor? All this right, is... this one's a little bit easier to explain. Wasabi. Uh -huh. Well, it's the same thing. It's the same balls, but... Right, it's the same puffs. But flavored with wasabi. 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 You know? I don't like wasabi. I don't like Neither wasabi either. I hate wasabi. Neither but I'm going to try it. Uh -huh. None of us like wasabi. Why did we buy it? Because none of us like it. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Don't give me two. Here you go. There's one for you, man. No, I do not like wasabi. Duh. I don't like. Whoa. Nah. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <clears throat> what are you oh, that is so one? strong. Oh, what? I even like this one. You might you sit in here so they can see you. And do you want to try oh. one? No. I dare you. I'm scared. I dare you. The, oh. um. Ooh. It, yeah. it kicks you in the that mouth a little bit. That is the strongest wasabi flavored thing I've ever had. That's ah. like straight wasabi. Like it burned my lip where it touched. Oh, those are hideous. Oh. Wasabi, basically Ooh. like cheese puff texture, but wasabi. They kick you in the mouth those are just a little bit. Strong. Uh, All right. Let's do the. Let's do these. You want to open those, man? These are kettle chips, hot bulldog taste. Stay on this oh, side of the table, dude. Do you remember what the bulldog was? Was it uh, brisket? Beef? Maybe. Comment down below, Korean barbecue, thinly sliced. I think it's brisket. It smells. Mm -hmm. Here, 
Sure, beefy. Hmm. Oh, that's like... The bag is half. It's a little bit spicy. A little bit? I'll try it. I don't know. Ooh. Give me your water, Jimmy. <coughs> nah. Jimmy, be careful on that. Stay away. <coughs> oh, yeah, they weren't kidding about that being spicy. Holy cow. Well, you're good then, man. I thought that was great. They, those are spicy. They got a big kick to them. The chips taste a little bit um, stale. Kettle chips, hot bulldog taste. I just uh, uh, right, moving on. We're starting to get into some sweets. We're going to save the ultimate one for last. Um, it won't be sweet, but I'm, I'm not looking forward to it either. But let's get on to this one. Chocolate corns. That little girl looks like Agnes from Despicable Me. Oh, she does. That's so funny. But just like a cuter anime version. My goodness. Ooh, that smells like chocolate right away. Well, that's good. I love chocolate. So we've had cheese puffs that tasted like corn. We've had cheese balls that taste like wasabi. And now we got cheese puffs shape that taste like... And no heck of small. Like cocoa puffs. Yeah. <laughs> Those are weird. Yeah, I was expecting them to be hey. closer to. He's eating everyone. I was expecting them to be closer to like the cocoa puffs texture, but these are really light and airy. These it's are so. It's just like cheese puff. Yeah. Oh. This one's oh. like coconut and chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah, there mm. does have a mm. coconut smell in there. Mm. Interesting. I want more. I want more. Just one more, and then we're gonna move on. Before we get into too many drinks, you want to do I mean, too many sweets. You want to do the drinks? Sure. Let's start with this one. The best one, I hope. So this is a drinking mm. vinegar. It's this a, is a health food. Really Korean black raspberry. Drinking and, vinegar. And so it's a vinegar that vinegar. is designed to be drink um, not straight. You don't just do shots of this. Although I think I read some people do. But you're supposed to dilute it with water. Or you can even do it with milk or seltzer and we don't care for seltzer so we're actually going to use this raspberry soda mix so how much should we put in it says best taste is one part vinegar to three port parts other huh? does that what? make sense not a word <laughs> this is hard to open everything was hard to open can i oh don't fling that now that I was, do not fling that no, I do not. so it smells like a really fruity balsamic vinegar I like okay, balsamic. so pour it in your mouth, okay. so, and then you can explain to me what you read because I didn't follow along. So I'll put this tiny amount. It's got a beautiful color too. Check oh, it out. Oh, stink! Ooh. So now you would do three parts of the other liquid. So up to here. Okay. Okay. Good. So then we'll do that one too. Let's just do two cups. We'll share. Okay. I don't think anyone's gonna actually drink that much. I don't know. Maddie I seems will. to like it. I love balsamic. I'll drink a whole cup. Weird. I'm crazy. Okay, so it's a health drink. It's supposed to detox so your body and things like that. It looks like you an love sodas. Juice so like is it gonna taste like a soda? Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> My it's, dad is good. Like, nah, nah. It's similar to kombucha. I don't like oh, that. that gross. But it's actually less vinegary to me than the kombucha. It smells like you're dying Easter eggs and you're trying to drink it. It's not too bad. Oh, <laughs> that's like a weird, sweet, sour. Oh, big. At the olive it's oil really oil fruity. I will. Oh, I know you like balsamic. Sample all of them. Yeah. Over and over and over and over and over again. I I don't know. This is an interesting My... beverage. It's I different. think I might like it colder better. But not hideous. We have two other drinks. Should we do those now? Or you want to do a couple sweet things and then swap over to the drinks? Let's do the drinks while we're here. Okay. These are a milk soda drink with milk. I don't think I'm going to drink those. It's got a peach flavor mm. and... And this one is strawberry. Strawberry flavor. So you're not really supposed to... I mean... 
is soda, so you probably shouldn't shake it. But no, I see I stuff at the bottom settled it. a little bit. I wouldn't shake it though. So let's gently shake it, maybe. Not even that thick. It's like fizz. Oh, that's good. Do you like it? I love it. Because it looks like when you forget that there's top? milk in your cup and then you pour water in on top and you have yeah, milk water. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah, I hear you. I, I know what you mean. That's good, huh? That's unusual. That's like that's a peach. Really good. Well, yeah, it's peach flavor. I know. <clears throat> Now you guys pass that over to us. Thank you. It doesn't taste like milk. I hate milk. No, it doesn't. It tastes like soda. Like a fruity soda. It's smoother tasting than than milk what or does soda it just would be. Taste like to me. Well, I don't know. What does it taste like to you? I don't know. I'm just not sure about it. <laughs> I just don't know about that right now. I don't hate it. I love them. They're delicious. But for some reason, the peach one made the wasabi flavor come back yeah. alive in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, there's a lot going I on like with the tongue. I like the, um, the peach one. Sorry. Okay, Maddie, what do you pick? Those chips are really lingering. They were spicy. All right, open that. You know what? I'm going to open this one at the same time. We won't talk over it, but um, what do you have there? So these are watermelon flavored cakes. Pretty much. And these are delicious and fresh baked pies. I didn't think they were going to be that small. What, do you think there's going to be a whole cake in there? Yep. Oh, for you. It does look like it's a whole cake on the package. Yep. You want your own? For us to share? Uh, no, um, I want to have one like all Here. Okay, hold on. Hold How on. about this? You and Daddy share one, Maddie and I will share one. Okay. There you go. That's my spell. Because I'm not going to like it because I also don't like fake watermelon right. flavor. So it shows the cake is like green inside, and it is. Oh, it is heck of green. And red oh, frosting my in the center. You just broke it. I am, I'm having the worst time. Can I have a taste there, man? Or do you enjoy it that All right, much? Jamie, mm. have a big bite, son. I'm going to take a bite. Just mm. a bite. I get a big piece. It smells like watermelon wow. candy. It tastes like the smell of watermelon. Oh, the mm -hmm. cake inside is super dry. Yeah. Ugh. I don't like it. I'm with you, Jamie. I'm not a fan. That's okay. More for me and Maddie then. It could be, could be better. Could be. It could um, not be watermelon flavored. I dig it. I oh, think it's wait. good. For me, I get another one. Really, 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 really sweet of watermelon. You're it off is. camera again. So you're talking, but they can't see you. So I enjoy that one. I like that flavor. I love the fake watermelon flavor. Can't stand it. All right, that's good. That's a, it's a oh. weird one though. It's definitely weird. Okay, so were these grape flavor? This next one we're yep, opening. Another one of your favorites. We so, picked three different, three different flavors in here today. I banana. I'm not a fan of fake fruit flavors. Banana. I like real fruit. I like jellies and jams. I like eating real fruit. But the we're fake gonna, fruit I we're gonna share. fills me. Nah. Okay, I'm the opposite. I do not care. So yeah, fake banana, fake grape, and fake watermelon. That's so it's got a cool little. It's like puff pastry. What are you still working on? Yeah. It sticks to the jelly mm -hmm. or the filling. So a little puff pastry square, a little rectangle, a little blob of jelly basically uh, on top. Mm -hmm. I guess I want to eat that one. I'll eat that with you. You're off camera. I like the light Stop around in that corner, dude. Pastry here. Yeah. It's not at all sweet. No. The jelly's pretty subtle. It is. I only like the crust. Take a big Seriously? bite. Taste the, taste the grape. I was holding my hand yeah, up. Yeah, these are, these are messy. And I, I swear it's not just me. These packages are opening weird. You didn't like it? Mm. All right, I say after the, the grape flavored biscuit there, we should have grape gummies. Yay! Agree? I wanna go. Oh, your favorite. One of your favorite. The grape flavor on those little biscuits was not bad. Oh, I smell it from here. Oh, wow. These are strong smelling. Mm. I can smell it. They smell like a bathroom cleaner. I can smell it. They get so 
so strong it does smell like some sort of a cleaner. Oh, it's just, just like little, gummies. Just little, yeah, they're just gummies. They're fruit snacks. You love fruit snacks. 50%, whatever. It's probably less sugar. Can't, can't read, can't cream. I want more. Okay, for being a person who doesn't enjoy grape flavored things, that's actually not bad. No. It could almost be any it's, sort of berry flavor. It's mm -hmm. much weaker than it smells. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm getting full. If I was to judge, I would say I would have had 25. 25? Nice. Yeah. Out of what? Out of 100? All right. Yeah. Or that. What is that? Those are suckers. I think those might take too long. We could give them a lick. I can't remember what this was, but it was interesting to me for some reason. <laughs> the tags had English descriptions on them. Yeah, they we should have been taking. We notes. don't have the tags now, so. Good well, job. This one's got Korean traditional cookies written on it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna open them up. real quick. You open those, and I'm gonna look up this Korean word here. Yakgwa. Traditional Korean cookies. That one almost gave me a hard time opening it. Oh, these look cool. Oh, they smell heavenly. You want to try that one? Jamie, you want your own? You want me to take Whoa. a bite and share with you? No. So it's a super dense no. feeling. It almost feels like it's, it's been soaked. It's a little crackle. It feels like it's been soaked in honey or something. Well, it was mine. I asked you if you want your own. You're off camera again, dude. Come on. I didn't want my own. Do you want your own? Yeah. Take that one then. Okay, thank you. As soon as you take a bite, and you'll be like, I don't like that's it. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If that's what the word yeah. dense means, thick and heavy. It, it feels like a brick, huh? Well, that is. It feels uncooked. Are you done with that? I'm not a huge fan of it. It's kind of gross. I don't like it. That's weird. I knew, you, I knew it. I'd end up eating it. I knew. Alright, here we go. So these are a Korean traditional cookie. That one tasted I need real. It's wheat flour and rice flour, or glutinous rice, are the main ingredients, really. I feel like mm -hmm. it's supposed to have something else with it, like soy sauce or something. You know? It seems like you should have a frosting or a syrup. Okay, in my head, I'm, I'm going, okay, think of a fortune cookie. Yeah. Where it's not horribly sweet, but there is a flavor in there. But thicker, undercooked, or cooked, nor <laughs> cooked normal, but then soaked in something to where it's like almost a gummy texture. That, it's different. This is totally different, I but I... It's gummy. But I really like it. All right. These are, they're weird to me. They're not awful. But they're not like anything I've ever had. Can I pick something? So these are Dalgona. Dalgona. These are a dessert candy. They're a traditional Korean candy. They're just sugar. And they're a street food. And so it just looks like caramelized sugar on a stick. But I guess looking at here, they do them in different patterns. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Is it, it or not, I do not like it. Is it really hard? It is really hard. And it's almost a burned sugar flavor. Yeah, I do not like burned sugar. I'll be back. It's, it's pretty good. Mm. It's good. I like that. It's almost like the honeycomb flavor. Yeah, get that like toffee, mm -hmm. like caramely. I'm gonna try one of these cola candies. The taste, okay, flan. The mm, caramelized, yeah. the, the brown sugar on top of flan, the liquidiness. Good stuff. All right, the last bag that we are, are opening here are cola. cola candies. These are not... And, and they are thick breakfast. They're not chocolate. Who said they were chocolate? They're just not as dark as the picture. Go ahead. Cola candies aren't chocolate. You're off camera. Why? I'm, I'm like talking to the empty space here, son. Come on, man. <laughs> Stay over here. Stop around in that corner. Um, Are you saying they're not chocolate because they're not dark? Yeah. Okay, cola candies are never chocolate. Why? Because they're, that's they're not cola. cola flavor. That's chocolate. Chocolate and cola are not the same. Are you, are you thinking, are you also thinking cocoa? Yeah. In your head? Mm-hmm. There see, you go. See, I, I had to work backwards from that problem. <laughs> Figured it out. 
He's got cocoa, cola, hmm. dark color. These are red, they're cola candies, but they're not gummy. Oh, okay. I don't know if I've ever had a cola candy. That's Do they gummy. taste like cola? Yeah. Yep. Well, cool. Is cola a very big flavor in Asian countries, like Coke? Coke is. That's what I was thinking. Comment down below. Coca-Cola, Pepsi. When you see Coke everywhere, or is it... Which is bigger, Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Because this one tries to, like, sort of imply on the side here that this is yeah. Coca-Cola. That's clearly right, Coca-Cola yes, font. It's not. Oh. Those are good. But Those... I've had several candies from Asian countries that are cola flavored. We'd have had the gummy cola mm -hmm. and cola popping rocks and now these cola. Mm -hmm. And then we've had fizzy cola. Candy. Yep. These have a slight fizz to them too. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that or is it just me? I got it. Slightly. I'm getting it. I got it too. Good. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. Well, that was all a bunch of nice, tasty, delicious. Oh, some odd, delicious. Some, no, some, odd, some odd things in there. Yeah, now we're gonna change the flavor in our mouths drastically. Right. Last but not least, oh. we had to get this with the Korea. Do so, I have to taste this? Sure, why not? No, I'm scared. And I'll tell you why he's scared. As soon as we open this up out of the refrigerator, <laughs> this you is can strong. smell it. This is a cup of kimchi. kimchi. Yes, which is completely Korean. We needed to try this as part of our Korean taste. Yep. So comment down below. Are you a fan? Do you eat it? Have you had it? Would you try it? Do we have an actual definition of kimchi or do you just know it? Mm. It's, it's fermented. Let me, let me see what I can pull okay. up here real quick. Oh, look at that. All the juices in there. I do not want to try any of this because it stinks really bad. It's cabbage for starters and you right. can clearly tell that it's cabbage. Oh. <laughs> It smells like cabbage. I'm literally. But there are different varieties. There was like a, uh, I was gonna say coconut. It's cucumber, a cucumber kimchi. Mm -hmm. Okay, so kimchi is a staple in Korean cuisine. It's a traditional side dish made from salted and fermented vegetables, most commonly Napa cabbage and Korean radishes, there with a know. variety of seasonings, including chili powder, scallions, garlic, ginger, and jeotgol. Cool. Yeah. All right, well. I am so he's going to take the first this. bite. Dad. Big John TV, here we go. Oh, yeah. It does not taste at all like it smells. Right? That cabbage is super fresh and crisp. And Good chew to mm -hmm. it. Stop, stay here. It's got a great spice. It says salted, but it's very mildly salty. It's got a kick. My tongue is a little bit. No, that's good. I could I could take kimchi on food. I just saw a recipe for kimchi fried rice. I think that would be great. That would be a good one. That would be good. I think you can manage that bite, Maddie. You gonna try it? Come on. No. They want you to try it, Maddie. No. The audience. No. 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 It's kimchi. It no. doesn't. It doesn't taste like it smells. It smells bad. Good fresh cabbage in this one at least. I'm sure there's a bunch of different varieties out there, but this one's good. It, it's it got a good heat to it. It kicks you in the mouth a little bit. Don't lie about that. Mixing that in with other things, I think that'd be really good. The fun part about getting these things from the international market as opposed to through the mail is we can get a fresh product like this. Right, you we couldn't, couldn't ship get that. this mailed to us. Like it, it'd be in a bottle, but this stuff was, the way they sell it there at that store, they probably made it fairly recently. Mm -hmm. Um, that's good. I'm I'm surprised. I, actually, I, I dig it. Would I eat a whole bunch? No, but I don't hate it. That's for sure. Like I could see it as like while you're eating your rice to break up all that rice that you're right. eating, like the blandness. Yeah. Have a bite of kimchi. Try a bite, man. And then it flavors you do your it. rice. Do it. No. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That was a fun little pile. Um, that was a huge pile. We went overboard, but it was fun. Yeah, I mean, once you get started, it's like, oh, this looks good. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. Oh, this looks bad. Let's try it, too. Oh, I hate bananas. Let's get those. <laughs> Just get heat's grape. Let's get more grape. <laughs> so if you dig our videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and then share them with your friends. Always open to suggestions and um, input. 
Funky Food Fridays, Foreign Food Fridays. We love doing these. I think these are our favorite videos to do. Yes. Um, yeah. And I know you guys. Especially when the kids are involved and they actually try things. I know you guys enjoy them too. So thank you very much for the support. And that's it. See you on the next one. Catch you the next one, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye.